Shop Talk. Hello and welcome to another edition of Shop Talk. You're going to love this one. We're down at Wildwood Cellars with John Brewer. John, that, no. nice <laughs> to meet you. Yeah. Tell us how Wildwood Cellars got started. Well, 20 years ago, we tried to find a way to make the family farm more profitable. So I was building high-tech companies all over the world, but we had the family farm. So what could we grow there? What wines could we make? Because uh, wine is the highest tech agricultural product so we're looking into that. We evaluated all the different grape wines. People would go, well, okay, this might be all right, but you know what was really great was grandma's elderberry wine, but you can't get it anymore because grandma's not around. Well, after I heard this 30 or 40 times as a scientist, it kind of sunk in, maybe we need to look at elderberries. So this was pre-internet, and I was able to uh, get information because I was paying $6,000 a year for the ability to search by keywords over the telephone at $150 an hour. And people think $30 a day, $30 a month for the internet's bad. But I was able to find out there were no growers. I was also able to find out that elderberries are the oldest plant companion to man. Uh, they're right up there with grapes. And it's the only fruit routinely made into wine throughout the centuries, other than grapes because of their use in folk medicine. They also grow wild here in Kansas, so there's something that grows very naturally. So we found also there was no growers in the state. So I asked my mother, who's kind of the grower in the family, I said, Mom, have you ever heard about elderberries? She says, I've been meaning to talk to you about that because we've got them all over the family farm. So we had all these acres of elderberries that we could just go out and pick and start that way. So that's what we started. We started originally with elderberry wine. We do an elderberry juice concentrate that uh, is for the folk medicine side. Uh, and now we're, we've got over 40 different types of wines, both elderberry, grape-based wines, other fruit wines. We want a selection of flavors for people. So what, uh, I mean, can people come down and, and taste the different wines? Oh yeah, at all of our facilities, the tasting is free. They can come in anytime, anytime we're open and, and taste wines. The samples by state law have to be itty bitty, but, <laughs> but they're free. Uh, and also, my staff can help people understand wine, because wine is nothing more than food. It's a food preserved with alcohol. And because of that, it should have one quality, it should taste good. Well, what tastes good to you does not necessarily taste good to me, because we're all different. So the staff, when you come down and, and try before you buy, you can find things you like. And that's the whole idea. You want to find a wine that you like. Wine should be just as easy to consume as any other food. You know, it started as a you know local winery, but mm -hmm. you guys have gone international, haven't you? Yeah, we've actually won over 500 international awards in the last in the 20 years, and I'm the first professional international wine judge in the state of Kansas. Of the three professional wine judges, two of them are in this facility. That gives us a major advantage in that we see what everybody else is doing with wine. We know exactly what wine should taste like, so all of our wines are gold medal awarded wines. So you can when you come here, you know. The wine is made correctly for the fruit. You may not like one. I don't like cucumbers. So, <laughs> you know, uh, but the wine is made correctly for the fruit. So you want to find that flavor that you like, flavor or flavors that you like. You know, we don't eat the same food every day. Why would we eat the same? Why would we drink the same wine every day? Right. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You know, you have different moods. Sometimes you like white wine. Sometimes you like red wine. You know, just like sometimes you eat chicken and sometimes you eat steak. Yeah, and what uh, you know. Some people might think, oh, you know, wine, that's for a certain kind of people, but it's really for everybody. It's really it? for everybody, yeah. Again, it's, we, the wine industry has made it difficult for people to enjoy wine, and they shouldn't have. It's just, it's a food. It's got to taste good. And that's really the bottom line. Just try it. Like, how would you choose any other food? You go try it. And if you like it, you consume it. If you don't like it, you don't consume it. You go try to find something else. So that's the whole idea. Don't stress over wine. Just like you can make wine aritas. You can play, replace the tequila in a, in a margarita mix with wine, wine aritas. Wine coolers are nothing more than half wine, half Sprite or 7-Up or, or Sierra Mist. Mm -hmm. And that's the original sangria is a wine cooler. You know, I always see in the movies that uh, they bring wine to the table and they're, they're swirling it. What, mm -hmm. what is that all about? <laughs> 
90% of what you taste is through the nose. So we want to get the most bouquet of the wine you possibly can. So smell this real quick. Okay, now, when you swirl it around, you oxidize the esters and you get the full bouquet. See mm -hmm. the difference? Yeah. Yeah, that's why we do it. That's why you never serve wine more than half a glass so you can swirl it. I see. If you have a very dry wine, you can swirl it and it softens the wine from the oxidation. How'd you do it that fast without it coming out of the glass? <laughs> you leave it on the table <laughs> <laughs> and practice. Yeah. So my son and daughter-in-law got married here, so tell people about the venue that you have. Yeah, we have a, a, a banquet room area and the, the porch area with a gazebo overlooking the vineyard so that we do a lot of weddings and it holds over 200 people and it's great for weddings, parties, uh, meetings, etc. And it's all available here without any trouble at all. So tell us a, a little <clears throat> bit more about what all you offer here in the, in the retail shop. Okay, well we have obviously tasting, free, free tastings. We have a lot of gift shop items that go along with wine. We also have our elderberry juice concentrate that goes into the health food market. And, um, and the experience of understanding wine. And that's the really main thing is just come in. If you want to learn something about wine, come on in. Our helpful staff, hopefully they're helpful. Uh, I'm <laughs> they, sure they are. Yeah, they, they will help you find out the right sweetness level you like, uh, like the right flavors you like to have. They'll help you understand wine so that you can really enjoy wine. And that's what it is, that's what it's all about. It, wine should just be enjoyed. It should be fun and easy to do. And tell people where to come to have okay, that we, fun. We're at the Mulvane exit of the Kansas Turnpike. That's the easiest way, exit 33 on the west side. We also have a tasting room in Wichita at Maple and Ridge, in the Maple Ridge Shopping Center. All right, well John, thanks a lot for Thank all the you. information today. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't been down to Wildwood Cellars, you need to make a trip. Thanks for joining us on this Shop Talk.